So the basic facts about this particular revolver, it's a single action, 22, and it's not like the newer models that you're gonna see. You'll have your safety cock right there, and you still can't pull the trigger right there, still can't rotate the cylinder, put on the half cock, still can't pull the trigger, but now you can freely rotate the cylinder to facilitate loading, of course, and take it back to full cock, and then that's when you'll be able to fire. And as you'll see right here on the side, just like an old single action army, it flips open for the loading gate right there, freely rotate, line it up, and then load your cartridge in appropriately. And as you can clearly see, the revolver's not loaded while I'm doing the demo on it. Let's be safe, guys, okay? So anyway, today we are gonna be shooting this little guy and checking out some of the features of it. And depending how well I can shoot the darn thing, we'll have some fun with it at the end of the video. So stick around for that. So let's check out some more of the features on the revolver here. So like we already discussed, it has the safety notch, the loading notch on there and then full cock and of course it loads up like a regular single action so same way as any other single action you'll use the manual ejector so you'll put it on half cock just like that line up the cylinder and then punch the empty shell out and you'll see me do that during the video you'll notice every bit of this is solid steel that's right solid steel except for the wood grip the new ones don't have this. They're all this uh, composite metal crap to cut down costs. No, this was back when they actually made firearms the way they should make firearms, solid steel. Now it's a little bit heavier and they are obviously more expensive, but it's worth it. This was back in the day when they weren't so much concerned about total cost, they were more concerned about quality. And unfortunately that's something that's kind of gone to the wayside in favor of cost, but here we are, it's 2022. What are you gonna do, right? So anyway, let's check out some more stuff. Now, as I mentioned with the old models, they don't have some of the new updated safety features. So you'll see with this one, if the camera will catch it correctly, you'll see that the hammer will directly impact the firing pin right there. So your safety is your control of that hammer on this thing, as opposed to the Ruger Wrangler, one of the new concoctions that they have, and you'll see it in some of the other modern Ruger guns. This one has just a straight cock function. There is no safety notch. There is no loading notch. It's just straight back. And you'll see in there the transfer bar that prevents accidental misfires if you were to happen to drop the gun or short stroke it. Obviously, this one's not loaded either. Another feature of the gun is the fixed dovetail raised sights and the fixed front sight on there. So you can manually adjust that sight if she's hitting left or right. So that's pretty good. Now for ammunition today, we're gonna to be shooting the Remington 22 Thunderbolts. I am not a fan of Remington ammunition whatsoever. It shoots dirty, the quality control and load differentials are all over the place. But, you know, given the times right now, thanks to our friends over at the Donkey Party, I wonder why they're represented by a donkey. Hmm. This is what I got to work with. Now, this is also older ammunition. And you know how I know that? $26.99 for the Thunderbolts. <laughs> it's not terribly old because just a couple years ago, you know, that was the pricing. But I can still remember it. I'm this old where I can get this for probably like $15 to $10 for a 500 round box. It was nothing. But. Again, here in 2022, this is the world we live in. So anyway, other than that, this is what we're shooting. So let's go ahead and get her loaded up with six at the seven yard line. And today we're gonna to be doing two shot tests with it. So at seven and 12 yards to see how well she actually does. Knowing old Ruger quality, I've got pretty high hopes for this thing. I'm pretty well expecting uh, good accuracy out of this thing. Ruger's always been well known for its quality, at least for the older stuff. So I'm very confident on how well she is going to do. Just like any other single action, she can be slow loading. You gotta do one chamber at a time. But that's half the fun, isn't it? There's six. All right, let's give it a go. 